in terms of the fat patch stuff, I treat a lot of fat pads. Fat pads okay. are incorporated in almost every single intraarticular injection that I do for knees, hips, elbows, shoulders, you name it. And we've been doing this now for probably close to two years and I have seen absolutely insane things occur when we properly treat fat pads, even in patients who do not have a diagnosed fat pad impingement syndrome. Most of the time, these patients have inflamed fat pads. So the fat pads are inflamed and they are contributing to pain because our fat pads also have nerves in them that we can sense as pain. When we get into the fat pad impingement syndromes, it's a little bit trickier to work with because we have to be careful to not create too much proliferation in the area such that the fat volume increases a little bit because that's gonna worsen the impingement. There's just some different strategies that we do. So we will actually try to hydro dissect the fat pad away from the patellar tendon as an example, because a lot of the times those two things, when the fat pad is inflamed, the tendon and the fat pad are not going to glide past each other very well. And that contributes to some of the symptoms. And so I frequently treat fat pads and that is involved in our clinical assessment and therefore diagnosis and in our therapeutic injections.